Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am going to channel my spirit guides and today we're going to do a love reading for the collective for the month of May 2023. Lots of planetary energies going on. So I thought we'd do a check-in, especially with the retrograde lunar eclipse. What, Mercury's in retrograde, Pluto's in retrograde. It's a lot going on. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and if you are a fixed sign, so Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, <clears throat> Taurus. I knew I was missing somebody, my earth signs. If you are an earth sign, you may be feeling this um, a lot more intensely in the sense of really having to dig deep, especially fixed signs are so fixed in um, sometimes their stance, their beliefs, their, their positions, that the revisiting of what has to be cut out or what has to be um, refined within self can be challenging. So here we are. <laughs> All right, everyone, one second while I just channel my energies and we'll get started. Feel free to grab some water, coffee, tea. I don't judge whatever you want and get comfortable. Here we go. All right. Hmm. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination. Hail and welcome. Please give me my brightest and best love messages for the collective in this month of May and moving forward. All right, everyone. Oh, the emperor came out. Okay, who's this? Knight of Wands, a card of sexual adventures, truly, and passion. And it, listen, it could be all kinds of adventures, but in this reading today, all right, let's see. What are the current love energies, love vibes? What are the love vibes for my soul tribe? All right, let's see. One more shuffle, and then we're going to get into it. The Emperor, Knight of Wands. All right, some of you may really be feeling in your independence, in your newfound independence, or you may be seeking it. All right, let's see. All right, Eight of Swords, taking action, moving ahead. Hmm. Oh, Eight of Swords. For whatever reason, in my mind, I was thinking um, eight, of, eight of Wands. I'm sorry, but actually Eight of Swords. So that's like self-imposed restrictions, right? You have your wings, the cage is free, and you can move forward, yet you're still caged. Hmm. All right, Collective. The chariot, perhaps not for long. All right. Looks like things are going to be changing here. Ten of pentacles, perfect. Four of wands. Ooh. All right. Nine of pentacles. They're telling me three more. Seven of pentacles. The sun, one more. Nine of cups. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? Four of pentacles. Okay. So let's look at it. So current energies for current love vibes from a soul tribe. I love it. Thank you, spirit. That's very catchy. <laughs> All right. So we've got the emperor, knight of wands, eight of swords, and the chariot. So the emperor, that's very strong energy. Um, that's really when you're in touch with your masculine you're building, you're solid, you are um, usually an authority figure in a position of power. So really what I'm getting is that at this time, largely the collective has risen above the crap, <laughs> so to speak, right? Where we are ascending, we're getting, we are wising up as a collective to what's out there. So the emperor really is starting to, you know, if you can see... The emperor is very unique and solid in that because the, the emperor is solid in themselves. Knight of Wands energy. This is 
someone who's out there seeking adventure. That's why I mentioned it was a card of sexual adventure, sexual passion, seeking something different, something new, living on the edge. But you have this eight of swords, these self-imposed restrictions, and the chariot is pushing you to maybe do something different. You know, the chariot's about divine intervention. Like you have something coming in and taking you off the path you thought you were on. So there could be temptation here. We don't know. We have to see. Because in April, right? In April, actually, let's just time out. So reel it back to October of 2022. That was the first lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So <clears throat> think back to whatever changes took place in your life then, especially in your love life. Did you start to reevaluate? Did you end a relationship or many? You know, did you start to want to walk a different path? So if you revisit that in this time of what, like April, May, you're going to be called to go back and refine the script one last time. And so, you know, it's perfectly, um, it's, it's to be expected that whatever is happening is happening because of divine timing and it's happening quickly and it's going to lead you to your 10 of pentacles. That's wish fulfillment. That's building a foundation with someone and going, you know, <clears throat> pentacles are all about the material, the building, the manifesting, having something in this realm. And you're taking something and you're building it all the way up and it's, it's family foundation, um, it's, it's really everything. It's everything you could ever want. And maybe you thought you had that in the past and it really wasn't everything that you had wanted. Um, so I'm seeing that you have this seven of pentacles where, you know, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is this something you wanted to continue? So a lot of, a lot of you were faced with having to make choices in, um, in your family situation. Um, here, let me just take another look at the way they came out. Cause we've got four wands, a card of marriage and celebration, a card of community foundation, nine of pentacles. That's also single energy. Um, nine of cups, four of pentacles and the sun. So when I look at all of this together, and I put it in terms of a collective message. I'm seeing that so many have gone through this period of, again, refinement and looking at what needs to be changed so that you can walk in your best self in love. Because love is the absolute vibration that we need to strive for as, as humanity in order to manifest all that is that gives us that life that we have a birthright to. We are not meant to live some scarcity thinking lifestyle where, you know, we have to work 80 hours a week and never see our family and loved ones. That's a programming that was meant to suppress the collective. We are meant to experience luxury and love and passion and sex and romance and happiness. And we are meant to share of our gifts. And, you know, I think that we are starting to see as these energies have shifted, they've shifted in our favor. And so if you were in a relationship that was largely built on false programming, as we are waking up, we vibrationally have shed what no longer serves us. So that's what I'm seeing. You know, some of us were in a position where we were about to be married into the wrong um, coupling or, or what should I say? Because it's not even about maybe even the person. I keep saying this because spirit keeps <clears throat> um, reminding me that the institution of marriage is is going to change. It, it, it's already changing, um, you know, because... It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit what we are evolving to as humanity, right? So, you know, here we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which was like, you know, wish fulfillment, and that's still what you want. But, you know, when you put that next to the Four of Wands, the marriage, and is the juice worth the squeeze, and the Nine of Pentacles, this is single energy. So, you know, there were a lot of relationships that changed 
a lot of relationships that changed since the lunar eclipse in October and now. And now you're being put in, the, in a position to revise that script because you want to attain the sun, right? That is the um the goal truly it's to be happy to shine brightly and to really express that that one unique thing of you outwardly four of pentacles is all about you know guarding the home guarding the material um and it's not that it's not to be shared right it's just that it's that energy of you know, perhaps you have been so giving for so long in your love life that when you decided to revise your script, you had to go inwards, okay? And you've got this nine of cups and we're still missing a cup, right? You want that 10 of cups. And so it's very possible that now that, you know, you're healed up, maybe you are ready for that next step, right? Because if I'm looking at this as far as where the energy is and where it's going, it definitely tells a story of a revision in the area of romance, you know, and a revision in who you spend the rest of your life with. Many of you found yourselves in a position to be in a contract, soul or marital or otherwise, that wasn't serving you. And you were looking to express a new part of yourself, maybe one you didn't even know existed. And so now that you've walked into that, you're more guarded of who you share yourself with. That Four of Pentacles tells me that now that you have stepped into this single energy, now that you have stepped into this new script, you're more guarded, you know better, right? You've learned that life lesson of, you know, not everyone's earned the divinity you are, <laughs> right? So, okay. Now, what is the incoming energy, right? What is the incoming energy now that we are, you know, looking at the nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles. What comes in next? Let's see. Five of pentacles. All right, so you've healed up and now you're hopeful. You're hopeful for something new to come in. Six of Pentacles. This, okay, let me, two more. King of Wands. Page of Swords. All right, so Five of Pentacles, hopeful, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles could be a few things. And because this is Mercury retrograde and because Pluto is in retrograde, ba, ba, ba. one moment. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles is a card about equal give and take. Okay, equal give and take. Also a card... <clears throat> about past friendships, past relationships. I've got the King of Wands. This could be a fire sign, but this is the King of Wands in this deck. This is a King of Wands expressing their feminine. So <clears throat> it could be that you are working with someone, let's see, Page of Swords, okay? A, a younger energy, younger air sign, a mature Hmm. Let's see. Actually, I'm getting that some of, let me reel it back in. Thank you, Spirit. I'm, thank you, Spirit. I'm so grateful. Okay, here we go. Page of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. This is what's coming in. Spirit saying, keep hope. Keep hope for that love that you seek, right? You see how on the outside of the, like inside the cage, there is a rose. There's a flower there, Okay. It just needs hope. It needs light. Keep hope alive because I divine that you will be in a situation coming up in May, maybe early June, where you are in a, I'm getting like festival vibes, right? 
And it makes perfect sense because it's festival season, depending on where you live. But for many of you, this is festival or page of swords. I'm getting less of a person and more of an event, an event, um, like a, like a seminar, right? A seminar, a gathering, a class, something where you and this other person will meet, um, because in this six of pentacles, this is about equal give and take all of that. But I'm seeing like two people hanging out, enjoying themselves, getting to know each other. And this person that you're bringing in towards you is like no one you've ever met before. This is a new energy. This is a new vibe altogether. This is somebody who's expressive. Uh, again, it could be a fire sign. It could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But more than that, because this is the king of wands showing up in their feminine, I'm getting just a very expressive individual, someone who is going to like a go-getter, someone who isn't afraid to be unique, to be themselves, to say who they are. Um, this is not someone who's closeted about anything they do, anything they think. And that's why I'm seeing, I'm seeing this page of swords as an event where you'll meet. Okay. Um, something that is cerebral, something that like, I see you very much being turned on by the fact that this person is, is, does, likes the same things you like, which is very different than what you're walking away from. Oh, I love it. I see it now. Okay. So just to kind of get, let's reel it in a little bit. And again, these are general readings, so if this does not resonate, it's okay, leave it for someone else. But if this does resonate, follow me here because now it's coming through. So what I'm seeing is you were recently in this energy of rediscovering you, renegotiating your love soul contracts, right? You were in this position of being in a relationship. This is, I'm almost getting devil energy here where it's like a couple together, under this belief that they're bound together, it, you know, just like this, this programming and you found your wings, you found your wings and you're like, you know what? I'm going to find myself again. I'm going to create emperor energy. I'm going to create what it is that serves me, that new love, that new lifestyle. I'm no longer going to accept anything that does not bring me the sun. So, you know, you, when after that nine of pentacles, you found yourself to be abundant and fulfilled and plenty by yourself. Okay, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. This is an energy of I am completely content with or without another energy in my vital life force, <laughs> right? This is, this is a, this is an energy of I have arrived. And if someone else joins your team, if you decide to accept that application, so to speak, <laughs> right? If you decide to accept it, yes, of course, it would be even better. And you would have, you know, that 10 of pentacles, that 10 of cups. So let's see if that shows up in the future. Like I said, I really do see with the four of wands coming in, I do believe that as a collective, we are going to see the institution of marriage just fall to complete shit. I mean, we already see it, right? And I say that as a, as, as a person who has been married, <laughs> I just, I, and it's not, it's the institution itself. Um, it is not equal, you know, and certainly make no assumptions about what you think, you know, marriage is about and supposed to be about. I mean, legally it's a sham. So, Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> so besides that, I digress. I see this being a community event, one that has um, uh, educational ties to it. So like, I don't know, like the conference or something, right? Um, where you are going to meet someone very unique, very different if you haven't already. Um, but I do see like a rekindling or coming together again of that energy. I'm going to put these cards here because I'm going to reference them again, most likely. So that's going to be your energy. So let's get a look at your person's energy, right? Um, let's see. We'll go here. We'll use this deck. What is your person's energy? All right. So let me 
clear up this space. I'm going to leave the King of Wands here. I'm going to leave the King of Wands to hang out. I'm going to look at that energy a little bit more. All right. So, you know, now that you are here in May, and also keep in mind that the energies of this lunar eclipse in Scorpio, that's going to last a good six months. It's going to last a good six months. So, you know, whoever, whomever you meet, whatever you start, it's going to manifest. It's going to take off. It's going to, you know, turn into something that will be with you for a good nine, ten years. So let's be mindful of where we put our energies. All right. Just little, another little tidbit. <laughs> all right. So thank you, spirit. Thank you. Their energy. What do we have? What is their energy? Ten of wands. The fool. You're attracting someone who's been in it too. Three of wands. Two of swords. Mm, they say that they're not kidding. Like attracts like, right? You are truly attracting someone who has been in it too. The hair fan. Temper. Oh, somebody has been in their feels. Collective, you are really attracting your um two more hold on these are these cards are definitely a little one more stuck together okay thank you all right so we've got ten of wands the fool three of wands two of swords to start so ten of wands the person that you are attracting or that's coming in towards you if you haven't already met them, I believe that they are recently in the energy of Singleton <laughs> or really thinking of it, right? Again, everybody broke up recently or they're thinking about it. They're renegotiating every part of their marriage or their relationship to try to hang on to it. It's, listen, just give your friends hugs and don't ask questions. It's a lot, <laughs> right? But 10 of wands, the fool, you're starting over. Three of Wands, this is a person that is exploring something new, moving towards something exciting, right? Two of Swords, the person might be a little bit, you know, a little bit shy, a little bit apprehensive. Um, I'm getting that vibe that the person that you are attracting has recently been closed off from the drama that is their life or was recently their life. And they had that Hierophant moment where, you know, high priest moment where they went inwards and was like, what am I doing with my life? Nice. Temperance card shows up and that's really about the healing and the balance of, of the, I, I don't know. I always see temperance as like, Oh, when you have that moment with your highest self <laughs> and you have to have that moment of, of healing, like that hard talk, um, you know, it's, it's number 14, which reduces to the number five, a number of disruption. And it's usually a disruption within. It's a disruption of who you perceived yourself to be, who you want to be and who you were, right? It, it's just you have to find that balance so that you can heal yourself or yourselves and become whole again. So I'm thinking that the person that you are attracting or have recently attracted has been in this situation of like dark night of the soul. Um, Queen of Swords came up. So that's really somebody who is making decisions to cut things people, places out of their lives that no longer serve them. And that's the energy I was getting from you as well. Um, I'm getting that you are slightly more ahead in the uh, dark night of the soul game. Maybe maybe you really um, got into your revision of your contract a little bit sooner than the person you're attracting. But it's same vibes because the next card is Ace of Pentacles. This person is cutting out all the things that doesn't serve them anymore because they have hope and they see something new. They see a better 
tomorrow. Um, they, they're following their intuition, high priestess energy, because they, they know that, okay, so five of cups, queen of wands, nine, nine of pentacles. You had nine of pentacles, they have nine of pentacles, right? Queen of wands, this person is vibrant. They are happy, they are attractive, they are manifestors. They are going after what they want. So hold hope because whoever it is that you are attracting, this is a divine counterpart. This is a, a match made in heaven, so to speak. Truly, it's in the stars. So just, just hang tight because where you think you are lacking, you are actually just creating space. This Ace of Pentacles is all new beginnings. The person that you are attracting is in a position to make a choice about what they're going to do next. And they are just independently, again, that nine of, where is she? Where'd she go? Nine of Pentacles. The person you're attracting is, is, is sitting in this idea of freedom the same way you are. Mm-hmm. I see that. All right, so let's let's see what the outcome is. What would happen, spirit, if these two beings King of Cups, this strong feelings, the tower, the tower came out flipped up. Tower is about, you know, change, disruption. Um mm. King of Cups, Tower. Oh. This person's coming for you. They are because here's your, they're willing to do what it takes because this is how it came out. The tower, eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles, that's, that's focusing, putting your mind to your intention. This person is literally crafting out the pentacles. They are painstakingly taking the time to be methodical and move forward. Yes, yes. They know that the coming together of the two of you is going to lead to that 10 of cups. I told you, because I'm psychic. 10 of cups. 10 of cups is happening. King of cups. That other relationship for each of you, over, over. That devil energy, over. Yep. Both of you are done with all of that. The hex of the X is over. <laughs> the hex of the X. Yes, sir. Hex of the X is over. You're going to calmer waters. You are going to your Ten of Cups. So whatever it is that you have been entertaining prior to October of 2022, let it go. If you found something new since March, I would say anything that has come back into your life since the beginning of the year, maybe March, March 23rd, somewhere around there. I would say anything since that time, if, if it's come back around, it might be divinely time. If something ended, that is a faded ending. Faded endings, faded beginnings. Trust me. All right. Don't fight it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Anything else? Anything else? That Ten of Cups is everything, guys. What else? The Magician. The Magician. That's it. You've created it. You've stepped into your power and you have manifested this and you are worthy of it. You are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of that love. It is your divine right as an energetic being inhabiting this meat suit. Okay. It is your divine right to express yourself in all ways on all days. And love is part of that expression. Love is part of what we deserve as energetic beings visiting this planet. And you heard me, I said it, we're visiting <laughs> and we'll be back. But we've got to do what we're supposed to do while we're here. We have to raise our vibration of love and joy and passion. We have to be the magicians, right? We have to pull from deep within. And you can't truly love. You can't truly get into that vibration of love until you yourself are whole. So you became the nine of pentacles. The person that you're attracting became the nine of pentacles. And that's really when you step into that wish fulfillment, that 10 of cups vibes, that, you know, 
that divine happiness. You have to be whole first and then you will attract the proper vibration to join, to be a union, to create that magic. I love it. I see it. I see that those two energies coming together are going to start a brand new way of being. You're going to step into a love like you've never known. Your vibrations, both of you, because you complement each other. It is not a matter of competition. It's not a matter of anything other than just being fulfilled. You were each fulfilled prior to meeting. And now together, you're just building a better thing. Middle of the deck. Oh, what came out? Hold on, let me start. That didn't pull out right. Let me, one second. That was not what they wanted. Here we go. Six of cups again. This is going to be bad. All right, Sphere, I see. Temperance and six of cups again. What Spirit is saying is the, the key, literally, to the next relationship that you are going to be in, right? This is how you know that this is the right relationship for you. If you're questioning who is this king of cups coming for you, what's your next step, you're going to know because it's going to feel good. It's going to be balanced. There's going to be balanced communication. There's going to be balanced physicality. There's going to be balanced romance. There's going to be, you know, you cook for me, I cook for you. Um, I'll take you out. You take me out. Um, I'm thinking of you. You're thinking of me. Too many of us have been in a relationship where there was too much imbalance and that came out for you and your person. Um, so that's how you're going to know you're going to complement each other. And it's going to be amazing. Oh, collective. I'm excited. I'm excited to see. All right. Any last words? Anything else? Um, Let's go here. All right. So what can we manifest once we find that uh, that maybe we've met that person? You know, what what advice do we have moving forward? How can we how can we continue to give up? Here we go. How can we continue to give off the vibration of love to attract the love we seek? I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit and commit to love and joy. So that's how you're going to attract more love is just by finding the joy in the work. And I've said that before. Um, the joy is in the work. None of life is easy, but it's only as hard as you perceive it, right? I mean, so many people like play video games all day long and that's just challenge after challenge after challenge. And, you know, you might get frustrated and throw the controllers. I know that happens in my house sometimes, right? Um, but <clears throat> truly, you just get back to it. Life's the same way. And if you kind of look at these challenges as a joyful experience that you were gifted as, again, an energetic being, you were gifted these challenges. This is like your video game, the game of life. Find the joy in the rediscovery of who and what you are, and you will vibrate high, you will vibrate loud, you will shine brightly, you attract that love that is appropriate for the vibration that you are omitting. So if you're looking for someone stable, you need to be stable. If you're looking for someone funny, you need to be funny, right? It doesn't mean that you will not attract someone or it's not to say that you need to be all the things you want to be, but it's about the vibration, right? Maybe you want an opera singer and you can't sing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying opera singers are very creative, right? Then you go be where creative people are and you start to express yourself. And that's really how you're going to know that you've met your match. You're, you're going to vibrate differently when you are around each other, doing things that are similar, enjoying life, building, creating, and, and bringing in the best part of yourselves, which you've already discovered during your time of rediscovery, right? A little redundant, but you hear me. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. This will wrap it up. The joy is in the work. If you found this message to be resonating with you, then please 
comment below, share, like, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And more importantly, a mantra for the collective. May the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it, my divine souls. Be the light that guides others home and attract the love that you seek. Until next time, shine brightly.